Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel SAPSD and ABAP League Support. In previous uh, session, we discussed about some basics about theory, SAP theory, right? And uh, today we'll go through that uh, SAP theory launchpad. As I said, SAP theory can be accessed in two ways one with the direct link url link and second one is that through sap gui in sap gui there is a t code called slash ui2 slash flp if you enter this t code in sap gui it will redirect to the theory launchpad in sap browser okay okay so you see here this is the theory launchpad okay so when we open the screen when when we open that uh, bro, uh, link in the browser whatever we see that uh, initial thing here that is in theory launchpad right so for example you see here so we should understand few terminology here right so this is a tile group the tile group name here is that bank relationship okay under this style group, we have these many apps are here, right? So three, six, and twelve, and we have sixteen apps are there under this style group that is bank relationship. And either I can scroll down and see what other style groups are available, or I can simply click this other one, cash operation, or basic cash operations, something like this, right? And if I click scroll down, I can see all other options. It will keep on move here if I scroll down. So this <clears throat> this theory launchpad will be designed by the theory administrator only. Because if I am a SAP SD consultant, then I need to access certain apps only. So there are 3000 plus apps available in theory, but I'm not going to use all the 3000 plus apps for SAP SD purpose. I need only few apps like a minus sales order app and a managed billing document app, right? Like this, I need only few apps which I need to use day to day regular activities, right? So based on my requirement, the theory administrator will assign the relevant roles to my user ID or profile based on the roles in my profile this theory launchpad will be displayed here as I said theory is a role based interface so what are the roles assigned to our ID those apps only we can see here right so like this if I scroll down I can see n number of uh, that uh, tile catalogs are there right so i can scroll down and see n number of there either i can go like this one by one or i can simply scroll down or in, in another way you see there is an arrow mark here okay and here also i can scroll down and see use all other things here and you see here i am now under the title catalog that is SD Fury apps and you see all the apps relevant to SAP SD model like a create sales order, manage billing document, create billing document, right? Manage outbound deliveries, customer master, everything we can see here. Okay, so if we scroll down a little bit and if you see here, sometimes the title uh, in the tile right this is a tile okay this is one tile and this is one tile every every application is called as one tile okay so sometimes the tile contains some information here for example here this uh, tile create billing documents contains the number 85 so what it is saying that there are 85 items which needs to build so there are open items are available in the billing due list if i click here I can see all the 85 
transactions for which we need to create the invoices okay those number we can see in the tile itself no need to go inside and see how many items are there not required right and uh, you see it's loading now you see 85 are there so 85 transactions are there for which we need to create the building document okay fine so like this this number will represent some key parameter of this application so if i scroll down let's see any other things are there and here, here you can see that uh, uh, some apps who have some errors are there right and you see here approve bank payments so here we see zero that means there is no items to be approved no open items to be approved here that's the meaning of this number here see how user friendly this apps are here and if i scroll if i scroll up even up okay like this we have different kind of applications available which will give you a pin to pin information about that application okay fine so okay this is the tile catalogs each and every tile catalog has some tiles or applications inside this this is one tile catalog and this is one more tile catalog and if i click this home so here also this is in this is also catalog only same thing only right so if i click this one i can see under the banking account bank statement catalog i can see this many apps okay so if you feel difficulty to access that apps means we can simply click this home button and click that uh, node in the left side it is just like content only okay this title content this many apps uh, this content this many apps like this and if i click here means i can directly go back to the tab if i click this one means it will redirect to the tab only see it's opening the app now right and if i click back it will go back and if i click sap means it will open the initial screen the home screen okay so like this i can try to access this one okay one more global search okay so you see there's a search button here so the two advantage of this search help is that it will search the data inside that application or it will look for an a tile or an app based on our search so what i will do i will uh, go to this billing document uh, app i will copy one billing document number now i mean uh, sales document number okay i will copy this and i will go back and i'll go to that uh, search and uh, enter this here and click go okay it is loading Hmm. It's not getting anything here. Fine. So if I say that uh, billing, yeah, you see, if I search that billing means I'm getting the session here, saying that there are two apps with this create billing documents and manage billing documents, right? Okay. Let me go to home now. Yeah. So create billing documents and manage billing documents. Okay. Let me search manage sales order. Hmm. Even I don't find this one also. Let me set sales order only. Okay, that app not available in this uh, my system. Fine. So like this, we can search the app if you want to. Okay. And if I go to this uh, again, this uh, home and uh, if I look for that uh, 
okay let me search for atp now atp okay nothing is there okay no apps are available here fine okay this is about this apps and all okay the what is the tiles what's the tile catalog okay and how can we access that uh, apps the navigations what's the meaning of this number here right so we can see all this information here suppose okay so in sap gui so you see here under favorites right we can access or we can keep here whichever we use regularly the t codes right the programs i can link here right so that i can easily click this one and access that one similar way in fury also we can design our own catalog okay so how can we do that for example you see here there is an option here edit home page click this one okay now it is editable mode if i click cancel means it will be closed from here it won't appear here and if i scroll up if you see here the bank relationship you see here manage banks right so i want to use this regularly right then what i will do i simply drag it here to my home okay and if i close it here see the regular one which i will use every day came in the beginning like this i can use the apps which i'm going to use very frequently i can add it in the beginning itself okay okay let's do one more thing also here again edit the home page okay okay so this is one thing and this is under the my home the my home we can add our n number of apps which we will use regularly suppose i want to create a new group okay so add a group and group name is daily task okay daily task and i can drag and drop any apps here for example i can put drag and drop this daily task here and uh, i can add one more here i can add this procurement okay it is loading okay it is not responding when let me open the link one more time it's hanged fine okay let me click that uh, edit home page hmm fine you see manage banks let me close it okay so let me create one more time that uh, okay let me create one group daily task okay and what i will do from home i will uh, drag and drop that one here oh it's already there right sorry close it okay you see i have added one new group here tile group in the tile group i have added the my required apps here so like this we can design it we can create one uh, our new tile groups and we can add the frequently apps frequently used apps in the tile group and we can play around here it's completely role based only so for my case this is my sap launchpad screen and if you log in in your system you might see different screen okay that is completely handled by the fury administrator only it is not like i and you should have the same screen that setup handle no not required it not not be the mandatory actually right it depends
so like this we can uh, manipulate this one and if you want to change the appearance right the screen background the color you can change that i don't know whether i have the access but we have the options to manipulate the tunnel see it is also hanged now right so like this we can uh, keep on add apps or create the tile groups according to our requirement and compatibility okay in upcoming sessions we'll discuss about that uh, how many types of uh, free apps are there and uh, what is the important uh, apps that we should use regularly in our day-to-day uh, -day work in case of sap sd point of view right like this we can try to discuss more about these free apps but this is the basics about this theory apps if you know this much information means then you can easily understand that uh, how it works and how we should use it okay okay that's it from this video friends we can catch up in the next video bye for now thanks everyone